In today's video, we're taking a look at the five most used crypto apps right now, seeing exactly what is trending and in what categories we can expect to see a real follow through with crypto adoption in the coming years. So I think this is a good litmus test to see exactly what is attracting users and being sticky in terms of their attention. So for this video, we're using the data supplied by DAP Radar. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment down below, which of the top five is your favorite. Now we need to start by actually defining some terms here because DAP Radar uses the term UAW, which is unique active wallets to describe the number of users because there could be, of course, multiple accounts by the same user. So this is a key metric that they utilize to show exactly how many unique wallets are actually transacting with each of these applications. So you do get a little bit of discrepancy within this here because for example, as on screen, Axie Infinity boasts just 20,000 UAWs as measured by DAP Radar. But if you speak to Axie themselves, they boast over 100,000 daily players. And that's due to the fact there's lots of centralized activity within their own walled garden that doesn't actually require a blockchain transaction to execute. But starting from the top here, number one, the most unique active wallets right now is Game Eta. And this one is on both Solana, but most notably on BNB chain. This is where it has the most usage and the play to earn elements. So almost 2 million active wallets over the last 30 days, a rather impressive stat. What does this one do? So here we have Game Eta. This is a Web3 gaming platform. This is all on mobile. You can utilize the Google Play Store or Apple. And if we just go down here, you can see some of the stats here. Total unique active wallets have been 1.9 million so far, 3.16 million transactions. And so this is widely used right about now. So what does it actually do? Well, this is a mobile gaming service. So you download the various game from the Play Store of your choosing. There are currently 10 games live, the likes of Ghost Runner on here, Invest Master. They're very simple, hyper casual games. The kind of things you can just pick up and play for 10 minutes whilst you're waiting for the bus. They don't require any thinking, to be honest with you. And they're very, very simple to just utilize. The play to earn elements of this are not gonna buy you a Lambo anytime soon, but you can earn a few dollars by playing quite regularly. On screen right now, you can see the game Ghost Rush. This is very similar to popular games you may have played. And what they're trying to achieve here is bringing Web2 gamers into the Web3 ecosystem with just subtle introductions to Web3 tech. So on their user guide, you can download the BNB version of the game direct from the favorite app store, and you're gonna have your own private keys set up and a wallet that you can actually integrate with the likes of Trust Wallet. In game, you earn the asset, which is called GDO. This is essentially XP points with your NFT, a free white hippo. You get that for just signing up. However, there is something to pay. It costs you $2.99 for a common hippo. This is an upgrade version of the hippo. And if you're planning on withdrawing any US SDC from the game at any point, you will need to have paid $2.99 to get one of those hippos. So this is where the NFTization plays here. And for every 10,000 GDO that you earn, it's worth currently one USDC. So their kind of mantra here is that you could potentially buy yourself a cup of coffee by playing this game. Now your NFT avatar, the hippo, is gonna have various stats, health, stamina, efficiency, all helping it to yield more GDO tokens. There is a two token model behind this one, GDO, the in-game asset, and then HIP, H-I-P for hippo, which is the governance token of the network. So GDO, you're gonna be playing and earning with that one, and the more GDO you get, you can transfer it into USDC at a ratio of 10,000 to one. Note they use the term relatively fixed exchange rate here. That will change over time as the inflation really kicks in. I would definitely expect that one to trend towards zero quite quickly, but then we have the HIP token. This is the Game Meta's governance token, a maximum supply of 1 billion tokens. And they mention within this, it's gonna be used for consumption within the DAP, like a gas fee. Gonna give you the ability to purchase NFTs. They are bringing out their own NFT marketplace with which this token will get you discounts. And in a recent interview, the head of marketing mentioned that the HIP token will be deflationary via a buyback and burn methodology from platform revenues. This token is not yet out, but as you can see from on screen, there is gonna be a pre-sale for this one, which could could be rather interesting due to the number of active users of this platform. So with so many eyeballs on this one, there's gonna be immense marketing opportunities for them, advertisement, that kind of stuff. So I think revenue could be great for this platform. And it's certainly what I've got my eyes on. 
the hyper casual gaming industry is one that rakes in huge bucks in Web2. And with these guys making a push for Web3 and trying to get Web2 gamers into Web3, I think it is rather interesting. I'll suggest downloading this, getting yourself a Hippo NFT for free, playing it out and seeing what it's like, and then potentially upgrading to the White Hippo for $2.99. They've also got their own 10,000 unique NFT collection coming soon, the Hippo Club NFT. These could have some value. The Mint is on the 1st of November. You're going to probably have to grind your way to get this one. Check them out over on Twitter. Then the second most used dApp right now is PancakeSwap over on the Binance chain. So both of these first two on the BNB chain there, unique active wallets, 1.5 million tracked over the last 30 days. Very impressive stuff. And this one continually ranks as around number one or number two. It's constantly in the ranks as the most used dApp here over on dApp Radar. Let's jump into PancakeSwap. You probably know about this one by now. If you don't, I've got a full video on it I just did recently dropping up above for you. So this is one of the biggest DEXs in crypto and the main DEX over on Binance's BNB chain. It has gone cross-chain to ETH most recently and is somewhere that a lot of people do a lot of swaps. Other than swaps though, they're doing a lot of things like farming, providing liquidity for various pairs, which can be lucrative, or just entering into these single-sided pools utilizing the cake token. These syrup pools in particular are a driver for a lot of transactions due to the fact they actually update this list here with the tokens that you can earn on a very regular basis. This is around eight days from now. They will have a huge turnover in all of these various cryptos being earned via the syrup pools. And so I think you see a lot of people entering in and exiting these pools on a regular basis, trying to make a few bucks during this bear market. Here's the main product, the swap in platform. You can also do limit orders on here as well by clicking this button. And if you want to swap between stable coins, they have that feature as well. This is a tried, true and tested DEX. And this is coming in as the number two most used app in crypto right now. The third ranked DAP in crypto right about now is Make Me Rich. This one is actually labeled on DAP Radar as high risk. This is a gambling site. 1.3 million unique active wallets right now. And this one is a little bit of an odd one for me. We're about to jump into some of the games that they have, the gambling applications, but they're really not that interesting. So I'm not sure if these are somehow juiced these figures here, but you can see from this right hand side here, generally the unique active wallets have been trending up and the amount of volume that they've been able to do on this app has been increasing as well. But here are the applications here. It's essentially just gambling. So the first game they have is a flip game, heads or tails tails, you win or you lose, you take home 2x what you put down or you leave with nothing. They've then got a sword based game, which takes a rake. So it very much reminds me of a casino here. Then they have the game called mini automatic lottery. Essentially, this is a lottery as well. One thing I don't like about this is the fact they haven't got, for example, a chain link randomized verification functions. We don't know for sure if this is actually legit or they're just, you know, taking consistent money off the table from players. You know, it doesn't seem like it's provably fair. And they have some strange world war game here that can be played on bsc or polygon uh, but this really is not interesting to me there's just not much at all going on here and i haven't even connected my metamask so i think it looks a little bit dodgy but the fact this is coming in at number three and if the stats are legit well this just shows you that people are being ever enticed into gambling during the bear market people are looking for quick and easy ways to get some dopamine and also ways to make a quick buck less easy money on the table people are starting to gamble instead. Then number four, we have Rarible here, which is an NFT marketplace. Over the last month, it's done almost 900,000 unique active wallets. But why is that? Well, if we look at the graph on the right hand side, you can see these peaks and these troughs, these peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs. And this is to do with weekly activity spiking up around various times for Rarible. Now, this is the marketplace Rarible in front of your eyes. You can see all the most popular NFT collections are over here in-game assets, your favorite NFTs, good looking art pieces, that kind of stuff, all listed on here. And this one's seen some of those spikes over the last month due to this. Gods Unchained, the very popular game is now available on Rarible, says this listing. And if you start trading now, you can take full advantage of 0% trading fees on new listings until September 29th. And this coincided very neatly with a staking program release by Gods Unchained, where they distributed a load of tokens 
to their holders of the God's token. So God's token distribution via this staking model required people to be holding the God token in their wallet, but also they had to meet one of the following criteria. And this is the criteria highlighted that I believe has caused a load of activity on the Rarible platform. So holding gods in your wallet plus buying or selling a Gods Unchained NFT from any secondary marketplace that runs Immutable X at least once per reward period, which is one week. So what has happened is individuals have been incentivized to buy and sell their Gods Unchained NFTs on a marketplace that has Immutable X, which Rarible does. And at the same time, Rarible has been running a 0% trading fee for this collection. So those looking to get these sweet staking rewards have been incentivized to utilize Rarible over the the last month and this is actually ongoing until around the first or second week of November so I expect the activity for Rarible here to stay high and this is in direct comparison to the rest of the NFT marketplace where volumes have really dropped off a cliff. Then we have the fifth most used application in crypto right now, which is the Sweat Economy from Sweatcoin. You may have heard of this one. It is all about move to earn. Effectively, you can walk and earn some crypto coins called Sweat just for being active on a daily basis. This one currently has over 700,000 unique active wallets and is based on the NIA network. Now, very interestingly for this one, the token generation event of Sweat actually happened on the 13th of September. So this data captures the point at which Sweatcoin went from a Web 2 kind of app into the Web 3 ecosystem. And so this is where we had a spike in usership. And so you can see from the chart here, a bit of a tapering down in terms of the number of users and also the transaction volume. So this application boasts over 120 million users across Web 2 and Web 3. If you've been involved in any of these tokens in the kind of move to earn platform era, you would have been aware that it's easy to actually earn some of these tokens, but the value of them drops off a cliff rather quickly. There's been a huge number of iterations of these apps from GMT, Steppen, the likes of this, Sweat, and even most recently the likes of Walkin, but there are at least another 10 to 15 others I could list off the top of my own head right now. So the spike in activity due to the fact this one went web three during the last 30 days or so, but they do boast 13 million web three wallets created, which is one hell of a feat. Now this is the Steppen or GMT ticker token price chart you can see initial pump and then a dump and it pretty much meanders forever probably going to go down to zero slowly then we have sweatcoin here this is the token that is number five right now initial pump straight out the gates but as you can see a nice gentle ski slope down there probably going to trend to zero as well as all of these things have pretty much the same fate due to the fact there are a lot of token emissions and no real net buyer of the token on the other end. Here is Walken. This is another recent one with a very low market cap. It's kind of had that hyperinflationary drop off in price, but there is a little bit of life in this one here over the last couple of days here, but essentially they all share the same fate. Huge amount of total supply, a lot of inflation for these tokens, and generally I do believe they will trend towards zero. So there we have it. Those are the top five most used applications in crypto right now. And they all share some common interest. They are kind of gamified in their own unique ways whereby individuals are prompted into certain behaviors for incentives. We're not seeing many non-incentivized platforms Top in the rankings right now, people are looking for ways to either earn something passively or try and get a dopamine hit from maybe a game or a sports bet, that kind of stuff. So I hope you found this one interesting. If you did, drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.